Hello guys, when Gemini 3 Pro was released after a few days people started reporting that it's very good specifically for visual design and front end and I decided to try it out. So these are a few tweets, a few examples how people say that it's good at website design. This is one example. Another tweet, Greg is testing that is it a 10x designer. Also Gemini 3 Pro can create really amazing landing pages. And another example, best one shot UI design. So in this video, I'll try to create a landing page based on this example of pocketprep.com, which I found as part of Upwork random job description, exam platform. And as part of that description, it's example website pocket prep. I often use Upwork as source of random ideas to try out. So I'll try to build a similar landing page with Gemini 3 Pro versus Opus 4.5. And also I will have a third test. So first two tests will be in cursor, Gemini versus Opus. And then I will try Gemini 3 Pro in anti-gravity in its native platform by Google. And we'll see the result difference. Same Gemini 3 Pro in cursor and anti-gravity. Will it be different? And also at the end of this video, we'll take a look at the pricing of that prompt. Let's dive in. So this is my prompt. I've installed a fresh new Laravel project with Tailwind 4 configured. And then I asked Gemini 3 Pro to build a landing page based on specific example and vaguely discussing the features. Let's launch. Let's see what it comes up with, how much it costs and how much it takes. And it's done in roughly three minutes. So some notes and some key features implemented. And it actually added some logic to that page on top of just Blade Laravel and visual design. But in this case, in this video, we care about visual design as our primary goal. So let's take a look how it looks. So this was the default Laravel 12 homepage. And if I refresh, we have this landing page. Looks pretty good, to be honest, with typical SaaS features and pretty long one. So header, footer with some effects on hover and all the keywords about education and exams present. And also I like this image, which is a little bit to the right, but this text is actually a real text. It's not an image. So you can even put some code snippets here or something like that. So yeah, pretty good job. The next experiment, let's give the same task for Opus 4.5. And I asked it to create a separate file, welcome Opus with a separate route. So we will be able to compare and review both side by side. And let's actually launch it in a new chat so it wouldn't have any context. So I've pasted the same prompt to the new chat in Opus and let's see what happens. And we have the result it took five minutes, so longer than Gemini 3 Pro. And let's see the summary usual kind of key points, a few Laravel commands to improve the styling. And this is the HTML. And let's see how it looks. So this is the page generated by Gemini 3 Pro. And this is the page generated by Opus. How similar it is. Do you notice? So Opus even made an effect of that thing moving. It doesn't move in the Gemini version. But generally, see the differences. Not that many. More colors in Opus, more maybe visual effects. But even that is quite similar. So this is the Opus version. And this is the same block in the Gemini Pro version. And let's see actually the original homepage. Is it similar? So does it have the same blocks? Not quite. So it all was made up by AI and really similarly, although it's totally different models. And as a final test, let's use the same Gemini 3 Pro, but not in cursor. Instead, we will use anti-gravity. So the native platform for Gemini models. Sorry for my voice getting shaky, but I still want to finish this video. And here I am in the anti-gravity and the same prompt just with anti-gravity blade and URL for the route. And let's see what happens in here. We launch. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not sure if other models did that, but as a part of the prompt, generating with Gemini banana, modern, vibrant, something, something. So along the way, it generates the images. Cool. And yeah, I need to accept the command to save that file. In cursor, by the way, I allowed it to run automatically without my supervision or approval. In this case, I will probably have to click a few approvals here and there. And we have the result in roughly three minutes, again, faster than Opus. And here's the summary completed actions. And let's see how it looks. 
So again, this is Gemini 3 in cursor, this is Opus in cursor, and anti-gravity, this is the result. And this is different from cursor result. As you can see, that new image with some effect as well, and also down below, similar but with a little bit different colors or in fact more colors but at the same time fewer sections i'm not sure i was pretty vague with my prompt what sections should there even be and i'm not a designer at all but just visually this feels more individual kind of artwork so to speak compared to those more strict and typical sas pages with just blocks of rectangles but actually for the launch i would be happy with any three of them it's just that in anti-gravity this is exactly what i wanted to test as a part of this video is gemini 3 pro the same in cursor and in anti-gravity and the answer is no so this is another example how models should be probably used in their native environments so if you use Claude, you probably need to use it inside of Claude code. If you use GPT models, it's probably Codex CLI. And for Gemini, Antigravity is the native platform. So each platform probably uses the strengths of the model with system prompts and features on top, like this image you see on the right. And now let's see the price. In Antigravity, unfortunately, I cannot see the price because currently it's in the preview mode, so I didn't pay anything. So this is the official blog post of launching Antigravity, and it is in public preview at no charge with Gemini 3 Pro. And one month later when I'm shooting this video, it still seems to be the case. So it didn't ask me to pay anything. Now in cursor, these are the prices for those two prompts. As expected, Claude Opus is more expensive. So I paid 56 cents for Gemini 3 Pro design and $1 for Opus design. Still, if I want a landing page design, it's a no-brainer to pay $1 instead of hiring a designer or spending hours playing with like ShadCN or other component libraries. Especially in my case, since I'm a back-end developer, not a front-ender and have no design skills, this is one of the things I'm happily outsourcing to AI, at least for the first version. Then, of course, I would tweak it and change the sections and stuff like that. But just as an idea for the first iteration of design, both models did a good job. But the test here in this video was mostly about Gemini 3 Pro. Is it a better designer? If you use it in cursor, apparently nothing really special. But if you use it in anti-gravity, I think there's more potential there, especially since it's free for the time being. And I think even when it's out of free version, out of preview, the prices would be still pretty reasonable. But of course, we will see in the future. Have you played around with Gemini 3 Pro specifically for designs and visuals? What is your experience? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want to see more of my AI coding experiments, every Wednesday I launch a new newsletter issue, AI Coding Daily. I'm planning to have a separate section for deeper dives and introduce premium membership in the near future. But for now, free newsletter every Wednesday with what I tried and what I discovered over that week. Subscribe to that. The link will be in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.